You're watching Explore Tulsa. I actually started with Special Olympics before coming on with Tulsa County Sheriff's Office. Uh, in a previous job, I actually had the opportunity to help be a coach for some Special Olympics athletes. And then once I got to the Sheriff's Office, I had a unique opportunity again to get plugged in uh, and help our office with Special Olympics. Uh, and one of those events being the Polar Plunge. Uh, so I've been with Polar Plunge about eight years now. We have some sports that are unified, like softball. I am a partner athlete, which means I help the like special needs kids help do like <laughs> softball. Bowling, we have other sports like bocce ball they participate in, track and field activities, uh, swimming. There's just a variety of uh, events that athletes can participate in. I played in fourth and fifth grade and then in sixth grade they didn't need me anymore. So then I'm running the torch for the Special Olympics now and then now I'm doing the polar plunge and I'm getting to actually help coach a unified softball team. What drew me to this knee initially is just the first, one of the first athletes I met uh, um, come up to me and talk to me and just to be able to interact with those athletes and see the, the light in their eyes when they interact with you. Um, they share, they want to give you big hugs. Um, they just appreciate you and all the things that you do for them. Um, it, like I said, it does more for me than it does for them, I believe, at times, most definitely. I love seeing how happy the special needs kids get whenever you help them do stuff and how excited they get. Realizing, like, what, where they struggle and how to help them. And it does impact the families, the parents, um, seeing their kids uh, loved on and given attention, people going above and beyond to help uh, those kids. And uh, I personally have uh, family in my life that are impacted with special needs. Um, so to know there's people out there who are willing to do things to help raise funds so that our athletes can participate in these events is just amazing. So there's a, like a partner with every athlete to help them, like you get paired with an athlete. So there's like, so not one person teaches everything. It's amazing to see our athletes and the things that they do and the things that they accomplish um, through uh, sports. Um, it, it makes you really think that, you know, you wake up in the morning, you have an ache or pain, but uh, then you see these athletes who do have challenges, overcome those challenges every day. Um, and it just, it just warms your heart. And, you know, they say we're, they're, are, they're heroes, but really they're our heroes. Um, because seeing them overcome challenges every day through these sports and activities, it's not just sports that they do and overcome. Um, they, it helps them build confidence. It helps them uh, build their public speaking abilities. Uh, it helps them with relationship building and all kinds of things. Um, so when the, these athletes participate in these things, uh, it does an amazing things for them and for their families. There are 16 plunges happening all across the state of Oklahoma this year. Um, last year we had over 1,000 athletes participate in the plunge. All the money that's raised through, uh, from the plunges goes directly to the athletes here in Oklahoma. It stays here to help our Oklahoma athletes participate in their events throughout the year. We encourage anyone who wants to help out Special Olympics to sign up for the plunge. Um, there is a website that's available. Uh, they can go on that website, click on Polar Plunge, click on the plunge closest to their area, uh, and sign up. To, they can either join a team or they can form their own team. Um, there's going to be a lot of law enforcement teams out there. There's corporate teams out there. And then there are people who just plunge as individuals. I don't know what to expect yet. I just know it's going to be cold. When you sign up to come to the plunge, uh, you're signing up to do something that not everybody has the opportunity to do. Uh, and I say opportunity because it's just that. Um, it's not an obligation, it's an opportunity to do something uh, special. Uh, but when you come to the plunge, uh, whatever team you join will be called out and they will have the opportunity to, to rush into the freezing cold water. Um, but before they do that, before they have that opportunity, they uh, are challenged to raise funds for our athletes. So we raise funds every year. Once you get your funds raised, you can participate in the plunge. So plunge into that freezing cold water. Be prepared for the shock. Be prepared for the awe. Uh, but uh, just be prepared to have fun as well. <laughs> 